Good afternoon, everyone. Tara here with your Tuesday tip. Today's tip is not going to be in regards to real estate. I just wanted to give you some tips on some things you can do during this crazy time while we are trapped at home. And, you know, we just do not know where this is really headed besides everyone being stuck at home, probably pulling their hair out. My kids are literally at this very moment in the middle of my formal sitting room with a huge bounce house blown up. But they're having fun and you gotta do what you gotta do at this point. Um, some, some tips, some things you could do while you are home to feel productive and feel like you are getting things done. Spring cleaning, organizing your pantry or your closet. Make piles of stuff that you want to donate to people in need. And especially with what is going on right now, there's definitely going to be a lot of people in need. So doing some donations might be a good thing for us all to do. Just make piles. And when we can escape to put those donations out, we can do that. At least they will be ready. Um, exercising, go take a hike, obviously not in a fully populated, populated area. And a lot of the parks are closed. So kind of just have to do your research to see what is actually open. Um, go through pictures, pictures that maybe you wanted to put in albums or that you wanted to frame, or maybe just make a list of the pictures that you wanted to develop. I know for me, I'm overwhelmed with all the pictures in my phone and I want to develop so many, but I never just really have the time to sit down to go through all of them and figure out what I do want to print, what I do want to put into frames. So I think that's a great idea. Um, what about doing scavenger hunt with your kids outside in your own yard? Go out, hide some things and tell them what they need to find. Give them a small area to search and let them find certain items. Today's St. Patrick's Day. Maybe make some four leaf clovers out of paper and hide them. I don't know, be creative because times are tough and it's it's gonna be a long couple of weeks, a month, maybe a couple of months. We really don't know. Um, maybe some puzzles, crafts with your kids try and think out of the box because honestly, I feel like these are the things that are going to get us through this difficult time. So I just wanted to give some pointers and some things to do. You know, we all live very busy and hectic lives, especially us that live between, you know, New Jersey, New York City, the everyday hustle and bustle. We kind of let small things like organizing our closet, organizing our pantry, the like I said, with the pictures, all the things that, you know, we're always like, oh, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. We kind of just shove under the rug for that rainy day that maybe we'll get to it. But what better time than now to catch up on all of those things that we have left behind and just shoved under the rug for that rainy day that was going to hopefully come up and you would start to catch up on your chores at home. So that is my tip for the day. Um, I hope everyone is in a safe place. You're healthy and all is well. I wish you all the best. Like I said yesterday, we are going to get through this. Is it difficult? Yes, but at least we all have each other and we know we're going through this together. So stay safe, everyone. Mwah. Bye.